Allah, you're punishing me. Allah, you hate me. If those are the meanings that you're making of your challenges, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. I can't. I think it's best that you click out of this video right now. Stop. I don't want to waste your time anymore. If you're of that mindset, oh, I just want to kill myself. I want to be dead. You're not ready to listen to me. You're not. You've sold yourself short. You've, you've counted out Allah's mercy, His forgiveness. You, you're just like on this path right now. I'm sorry. I can't help you. As positive as I am, as good as I am, I can't help you right now. Because this channel is for those who want to give a more empowering meaning to their lives. So if, if this video, if you're not interested in giving a more empowering meaning or thinking about what else could your challenge, your struggle, your test mean to you, then this video isn't for you. I'm not the person for you. I'm not the, you, I'm not the person for you. I'm genuinely not the person for you. This channel is not the person for you. It's nothing. I, I recommend that you unsubscribe from me right now. I do. I do recommend that if you're not ready for this. Because this video could potentially change your life. This is the preview of the video. This video could change your life because the things that we talk about this video can alter the course of your life. That's what this video is about. But a lot of you won't see it because I probably used a, a catchy title, a clickable title, and you're already peeved off about, about what I'm about to say in the video. I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be. I'm going to make it up on the spot while I'm editing this video. But this video isn't for you. I'm not for you. So please, mafkoro, go somewhere else. Stop wasting your time. Stop allowing my titles, my, my, my content to make you feel bad. Why is it that I make you feel upset? These, these titles are frustrating me. That's your problem. That's your own problem that you've given your control of your feelings to a nobody like me. They're your feelings. Control them. You're not a slave to your emotions, man. And if you're doing this to me, I feel bad for how you live your own life. Every time your mom says something to you, you overreact. Your parents say something, you overreact. Why are you doing this to me? You're a victim. This, this channel isn't for victims. This channel is for people who want to empower themselves and feel good about themselves and get closer to Allah. That's who this channel is about. Roll this intro. Way of life at SQ, keeping it a hundred. Think that Allah won't forgive you? Ha! You don't know anything. Um, in the hotel right now, I came to VA for a friend's wedding. Uh, by now, if you watch my other videos, you'd probably sort of figure that out. Not sure, but I feel like a news reporter in these hallways. The intention of this video, just to be clear, is to show you, or tell you, how ridiculous you are for thinking that Allah won't forgive you. That's like what Allah does. Allah forgives. That's what He does. That doesn't mean you take advantage of it in a negative manner. You could take advantage of it in a positive way. In a negative, why would you have to, why do you think of it in a negative way? You know what I mean? Like, taking advantage of Allah's mercy and His forgiveness doesn't mean that you're just like, you know Allah's going to forgive you and that's it. You have to imagine that what if you're dying in the condition of that sin? What if you die in a condition which Allah didn't allow you to ask for His forgiveness? You think it's just that simple that you'll just make that decision when you want to? Shows how much you know. This is my key, Bismillah. Oh, man, these doors are so heavy. Oh God, SubhanAllah. It's not that, well, maybe I'm just weak. See, it's the meaning we make of it. It's the meaning we make of it. It's the meaning we make. Look at this. Clean, stay, all that. We're checking out right now. My family was here. My wife realized that I'm going to be a little bit, I'll be a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit of some time. So she's just like, let me just take the kids to Dunkin' Donuts and sort them out because after that, I have to upload it from this computer right here. And um, yeah, I have to upload it and then all that good stuff too. But no one watches you, SQ. Allah watches me. That's all. That's it. Allah watches me. Allah watches you, bro. You got to know that Allah watches you. Allah SWT knows. Isn't that the number one view you want? SubhanAllah. What is it? See, see how, how can I like look at the camera? I feel like I'm staring at the... No, oh man, this is trippy. This is trippy. Reflection. We are believers. We reflect, you know, mirrors to each other. This is here. here. Here was the whole idea of the video. I was going to have it ready here, and I was going to sit down and talk to you about the forgiveness of Allah. That's what I wanted to do. Inshallah, Allah allows me to accomplish that goal. There's no guarantee. This might be the stupidest video you've ever seen, or it might be the best. Right? <clears throat> it's whatever meaning we make of it, and whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to accept and to feel. I don't need this hat. 
I like wearing the kufi more. Nothing, nothing better than a fresh wick. This is like the number one fashion accessory. And you would have seen by now my outfit at the at the wedding. Look, everyone looked great, mashallah. Had nice accessories, nice little touches. But the number one touch I had, the two top touches I had, was the kufi and the beard. That was the two top touches. The plan now is to go to an outlet mall while we're here in VA and then we drive back to New York. Is LeBron winning his sixth ring? Uh, his sixth ring tonight. His fourth ring tonight in game six? We'll find out. We'll find out very soon. But to think that the Heat have given up is ridiculous. You just That's the heart of a champion right there. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they take it to seven games. Wouldn't be surprised because they believe in themselves. You know what I mean? They they know that this is all a part of their story, all part of their resume. Isn't that the same case with us, with you and I? That everything that's happened for us, not to us, was all for our own benefit? Hasn't it been true? Haven't you found that? Think about a past event or, 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 or a time where you did something and didn't go well for you. Like it was something that went against what you wanted. But then later on, you found out that it was for the best. Um, let me give you a personal story of mine, right? At one point, I don't know, I think it was 2016, I was so fed up with my school, the school that I currently teach at, because I've been trying to get, you know, Jumu'ah time slot off to go pray Jumu'ah. And uh, I had seen also that all my friends have or were accomplishing that. So I'm thinking I'm in this kufar school. It's not for Allah. Like, look how I was thoughting, uh, thinking at that time. Thoughting. <laughs> they're not even giving that to me while my other, you know, they're not obviously kufar. I'm just, just saying that. I hope you guys understand my sarcasm sometimes. I know sometimes I might go over your head, you know, but even like with this story I'm telling you right now, I, you know, like, it's it's a part of it. Maybe that's what the video title is going to be. It's going to be about, it's going to be about me not going. Anyways, I'll tell you the story. Right now. So 2016 comes. I was just so fed up with the school that I was in for that main reason. Nothing else. Everything was great about the school. Everything. Except that they didn't give me Juma. And that was enough for me to just want to just just give it all up and go somewhere else. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to switch schools, but I wanted to do it abroad or overseas, you know. And um, I'm trying to think when my daughter was born. I know that's weird, but I think she was born in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I could be mistaken. Dads might not be good at this. Maybe that's a blanket statement just to cover my own insecurity of messing up. But I'm not insecure about it. Like, I know when she was born. You know, it's just what year. Who knows? Um, but I wanted to move and go to Abu Dhabi, essentially. And uh, I need some water, by the way. Oh, I need some water. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Tell me I have some water in this in this hotel someplace. Oh, there's chocolate milk here. I don't want that. Do you think raspberries would help me? What do you guys think? Should I get the raspberries? Tell me in the comment section below. Well, it'll be too late by the time I read that comment section, so I'm just going to make a decision myself. Say bismillah and go for it. Bismillah. Mm, okay. Yeah. This should hold down my cotton mouth. <sighs> okay. Take my shoes off, my feet up. So, um, I had applied for like some website, Teach Away, or I don't know what some website, and um, <laughs> Subhanallah. I got went through the whole application process, the screening process, the of uh, the the the. the uh, the the interview process where I had to go physically to the Marriott and give an interview. It was crazy, right? Maybe I should make a separate video about that, right? Uh, tell me, tell me in the comments section if that's something you're interested in, uh, in in hearing in the full detail of it. But anyways, I got accepted into a school in Abu Dhabi, and my family and I were ready to move. So we've packed everything, and we're we're going in that direction. We're like canceling bills, and you know, like we're really, literally, it was a two or three year contract that I signed uh, with a school in Abu Dhabi. And of course, the whole time I'm doing a Sahara, I'm doing everything like that. Everything's good. I got my visa. We're working on the tickets now. And uh, I'm at work. And I get a call during my break, my, my prep, my break. 
And I know exactly who it is because I have a good relationship with them now. It was like a headhunter or whatever, you know. And um, she said, uh, hey, you know, SQ. I'm like, hey, what's going on? She said, listen, I have some news for you. Um, your visa, I didn't get my visa yet. Your visa was not approved by the embassy. And in that moment, immediately my first thought was Alhamdulillah. You see, I realized straight away, and look, if you weren't Alhamdulillah first in whatever instant you were in, that doesn't mean you're bad or your iman is weak and my iman must be something. No, no, no. Trust me, it's not that. It's just that I was so aware of my situation that my first words were Alhamdulillah. So this is what she told me. It's not available, this and that. I didn't push it. I didn't say, well, how can we get me there? How can we do this? this, this? She said, but, SQ, I have an opportunity in Kuwait. Right now, I could just put you in Kuwait. Do you want to go? And I said, forgot her name, Christine, or whatever her name was, right? I said, I'm thinking I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going to talk to my family about this, but I'm okay where I am. Why? You see, in the istikhara that we are making and asking Allah, if the decision that we have agreed upon or wanted is good for my deen, my dunya, my akhirah, not just one, not my, my, my dunya. Most people think of it, the number one thing they're thinking about is the dunya, right? That's why you're making your decision, isn't it? It's not really for your akhirah. Yeah, it could become that, but it's really for your dunya. And we have to know that sometimes we might get things that are good for us in the dunya, but that could damage us in the akhirah. Got deep, alhamdulillah. So your deen, your dunya, your akhirah. The only one that we're thinking of is this one. And you can see that. This is what the world deserves. This exact finger. Okay? The real t- two, you know, not the third that we need. The two-thirds that we need. A little math lesson while I give a F you to the dunya. F you to the dunya, man. <laughs> Seriously, though. What does this dunya have to offer us? Like, it's nice. We, we can enjoy it. I have beautiful family and kids. But I want this beautiful family and kids in paradise. I don't want, I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here as well. Does that mean we blow each other up and kill the kufar? No. It just means that, bro, this place is a prison for us. It's a prison. Do your sentence, son. Do your sentence. Serve your time. Serve your time. Bunch of radical, fake Muslims out there. You fake-ass Muslims. Fake ISIS, weak-minded people getting controlled. Probably the Zionists who's established the ISIS people, huh? They're not Muslim. They're munafiks. Right there in front of us. Right there in front of us. The same munafiks that used to be in Medina. The same munafiks. They're there. Fake-ass munafiks. Who are the people munafiks in Medina, huh? They look like Muslims, but they weren't one. That's what we have a lot now, too. Your kings, your rulers, killing their own people. Fake-ass Muslims. They're just Muslims by the name. The hypocrites. The same way the hypocrites infiltrated us, our army, our walls in Medina. They've done it in this dunya right now in front of us right here. But no, they were, you know, Shimag. They're good. They're good people. Have some, have some of this. Yes, it's a, it's a prison for believers. It is, indeed. But guess what? Guess what? Allah has made our sentence not so difficult, has He? He's given us provisions. We have, Bismillah, subhanAllah. Mm. Beautiful fruit. Mm. Maybe this is the ASMR video right now. A lot of you are like, SQ, my ears. Listen, if I want to make this an ASMR video, I will. Because this is my YouTube channel. And I can do whatever I want within the show, yeah, and the boundaries of, of Islam. <laughs> First words of Alhamdulillah. Going back to the story. First words of Alhamdulillah because I knew that if this was, my, I asked Allah if this is good for my deen, my dunya, my akhirah, to allow this to happen to Allah. If it's not good for my deen, my dunya, my akhirah, prevent it from happening. So I went with the latter. I said, you know what, Allah, it wasn't good for my deen, my dunya, my akhirah. Maybe it could have been good for my 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 deen and my dun, uh, my 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 deen and my akhirah. Maybe maybe it could have been, but it wasn't good for my dunya, so Allah prevented it, right? Or maybe it was only good for my dunya and not for my deen or my dunya, my my akhirah, right? Maybe it was the other way around too, right? But I think that <laughs> I don't know what Allah would do, right? But the priority is the the akhirah, obviously. 
But maybe it was only good for my dunya, not my deen or my akhirah. So let me tell you what happens next. So that's the year we were supposed to go to the UK. We were supposed to go to the UK that year. But we weren't because we were going to be moving in the summer. Okay. Plans got canceled. My wife is just like, hey, why don't we just go to the UK this year? I said, okay. We had got some tickets, but we weren't sure if they were going to work because we canceled the tickets. Or I don't know what it was. Okay. That year, I went to the UK. And I met one of my best friends, my, my brother's named Shuaib, also known as the Sunnah guy. Check out his YouTube channel uh, as well. Awesome content. Go follow him on Instagram as well and tell him SQ sent you. And that's if you've made it to 13 and a half, approaching 14 minutes of this video, right? And it was the Sunnah guy, Shuaib, who maybe he doesn't even want people to know his name. Like, <laughs> I'm just like SQ. Maybe it's the Sunnah guy <laughs> who... who encouraged me and told me that I need to start a YouTube channel. He, I never even thought of it once, not once. He said, you need to. Look at, look at the foresight. This man has so much foresight. May Allah bless him and increase him. Where's my phone? I'd message him right now. I'd message him right now and just leave him a voice. So I'm going to do that right now because I feel like doing that. That's more important than this video right now. I owe that. Obviously, I owe Allah Azawajal everything, but he deserves a lot of the love, a lot of the love. Ooh, my iPad video also just got finished. Oh, yes, yes, brother, brother. I don't know how I'm going to upload it because it's going to take forever, maybe. Maybe to upload it might take forever, but we'll see what happens. Let me just send it very quick. Let me just go to Shuaib and just send him a quick Shuaib, Shuaib. Uh... Shuaib. Shuaib. Assalamu alaikum, my beautiful, beautiful bro. I pray that you are well. Uh, I just want to say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you and bless you, my bro. I was making this YouTube video and I was talking about something and I just went on a tangent for some reason. Sometimes I don't even know how I get here, bro, honestly. Um, but it was about how something could be or seem or appear bad, but it actually turns out to be a blessing from Allah. And I was talking about how I was not supposed to come to the UK the year I met you. And that's the year that you told me that I need to start a YouTube channel. And honestly, bro, that obviously changed the course of my life. You know, like, honest, honest to God, you know, like I did not expect any of this to happen. And it's obviously, obviously thanks to Allah Azza wa Jal, but it has a lot to do with you too, my bro. And I, honest to God, pray that I make it and I'm successful to a high degree, not for my own sake, not for my family's sake, but so that you get all the rewards, bro. You you obviously mean a lot to me. Your family means a lot to me. Your children mean a lot to me. Just know that, you know, like, God forbid anything ever happens to you, bro. You know, I would always take care of your family, bro. You know, like, I, I love you so much to death. And um, honestly, man, I, I, I pray, I pray then that when such a sincere person like you makes it to paradise, you remember me, bro. You remember me because I'm not the best of people, okay? And I just know that I love you a lot. And and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Okay? And I pray that when you make it to paradise, you remember your brother. You remember, remember me. Well, I, I love you so much, bro. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases you and blesses you. And unites us in paradise together. I mean, ya Rabb, man... I wish I came to the UK this year, bro. I miss you so much. Let's make something happen. We need to go back to Pakistan and make some some epic, epic videos, bro. Some social experiments and stuff. It would be so lit over there, inshallah. And bro, I need to post the Pakistan videos as well, too. I'm slacking, I'm slacking. I'm, I'm going to post on my YouTube channel. I'm going to post on my YouTube channel, definitely, inshallah. Uh, but love you, bro. Take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum. Oh, man. Alhamdulillah. That's the year I started my YouTube channel and my Instagram page and all that. And this is a product of obviously a lot of hard work on my end, but a lot of du'as and catalysts, people who believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. So I want to do the same for you. I want to believe in you before you believe in yourself. Honest to God, that's literally what I want. When I tell you that Allah won't, when you, when you, when I tell you that, when you feel that Allah won't forgive you, you're selling yourself short. You're, you're limiting the mercy and the beauty and the blessings of Allah. Honest to God, you're just limiting it because it's showing that you don't really understand who Allah is. No disrespect to you, 
Please don't take that. And oh, I do, but I know who Allah. It's not like that, bro. It's just the fact that you're selling yourself short. You're selling Allah's mercy short. Honestly, you're better than this. You're more than this. You can do more than this. Allah will forgive you. Just really make some honest resolutions with yourself and Allah will help you out. And Allah will test you with those same resolutions that you've made. If you promise Allah you won't do this anymore, He'll make that sin, that test, even more easier for you to perform to see, is my servant going to stay true to their word? But if you do stay true, uh, stay true to your words, guess what's going to happen? You're going to develop a lot of self-esteem. Your, your, your self-esteem will rise. You'll feel good about yourself. But then guess what? Allah will test you again with it. And He's developing you. He's challenging you. He's stretching you. These are, this is just how you have to think. If you don't think this way, you're always going to think like a victim. Allah, you're punishing me. Allah, you hate me. If those are the meanings that you're making of your challenges, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. I can't. I think it's best that you click out of this video right now. Stop. Wait. I don't want to waste your time anymore. If you're of that mindset, oh, I just want to kill myself. I want to be dead. You're not ready to listen to me. You're not. You've sold yourself short. You've you've counted out Allah's mercy, His forgiveness. You you're just like on this path right now. I'm sorry. I can't help you. As positive as I am, as good as I am, I can't help you right now because this channel is for those who want to give a more empowering meaning to their lives. So if if this video, if you're not interested in giving a more empowering meaning or thinking about what else could your challenge, your struggle, your test mean to you, then this video isn't for you. I'm not the person for you. I'm not the, you, I'm not the person for you. I'm genuinely not the person for you. This channel is not the person for you. It's nothing. I, I recommend that you unsubscribe from me right now. I do. I do recommend that if you're not ready for this. Because this video could potentially change your life. This is the preview of the video. This video could change your life because the things that we talk about this video can Alter the course of your life. That's what this video is about. But a lot of you won't see it because I probably used a, a catchy title, a clickable title, and you're already peeved off about, about what I'm about to say in the video. I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be. I'm going to make it up on the spot while I'm editing this video. But this video isn't for you. I'm not for you. So please, mafkoro, go somewhere else. Stop wasting your time. Stop allowing my titles, my, my, my content to make you feel bad. Why is it that I make you feel upset? These, these titles are frustrating me. That's your problem. That's your own problem that you've given your control of your feelings to a nobody like me. They're your feelings. Control them. You're not a slave to your emotions, man. And if you're doing this to me, I feel bad for how you live your own life. Every time your mom says something to you, you overreact. Your parents say something, you overreact. Why are you doing this to me? You're a victim. This, this channel isn't for victims. This channel is for people who want to empower themselves and feel good about themselves and get closer to Allah. That's who this channel is about. Roll this intro. Now end this video. It's time for me to go. I love you all for the sake of Allah. It's time for me to upload this video. And I pray that Allah Azawajal blesses you all, forgives you all. Check out some of my other videos or don't check them out. Equally the same. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Those who support me, those who love me. I love you, love you, love you so much. Honest to God, I love you. And that was like the most uniquest thing I probably ever did. So um, that's just who I am. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, not tomorrow. I'm stop saying that tomorrow because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows when it is. You know what I mean? I post every day. At least I try to. That's the intention. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until whenever Allah decides to call me back, I'm out.